I hear there's a new lady in your life. Real go, is she? Too right she is. <laughs> Not that I'm one to kiss and tell. You'd be talking about this wonderful new lady friend, I suppose. Intelligent, good-looking, understanding. Oh, come on, Tom. There is a new lady in my life. She is good-looking, intelligent, and understanding. And she does exist. It's Mum. She's with a man. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, no. See who it is. It's Tom Nielsen. Father say at the airport. Mm. I can tell you his last words. Claire, we're expecting a long engagement. So, um, still not too fussed about having a Maori son in law? Mm. It's his worst nightmare. Well, he didn't say that. No. The science was deafening. Mm. Talked about how we haven't known each other long. We met under strange circumstances. And get this mm. cultural differences. Oh, I should see him, shouldn't I? I mean, one of us is going to have to make an effort. Oh, don't worry about it, darling. Let him squirm. Where do I... Oh, yeah, give it to me. So, where is... Ginny's dragged Nick out to the pictures, so we've got the place to ourselves tonight. I'll just take these to the room. Should have seen Dad's face when I told him you ate hoo-hoo grubs live. Claire, you didn't. We'll be staying at a hotel. What's a hotel got that we haven't got here? Well, room service for one thing. Oh, contraire, madame. How does chicken cacciatore sound? Oh, you haven't. Just waiting to be heated up. Sauvignon Blanc in the fridge and music and all the fire needs is a match. How does that sound? Oh, sounds just like what I had in mind. Hmm. I just didn't realize how hard it would be to find a new place. Oh, there's no hurry. You can stay as long as you like. <gasps> Andrew, please, we're trying to have a conversation. Sorry. I was thinking, do you mind if I bring a few of my things over while I'm still looking? Some clothes, a few books? Of course not. How long's she gonna stay? Andrew? Who's she? Kat's mother. Just wanted to know. That's enough, Andrew. Can't you go and play somewhere else? Don't want to. Andrew. Look, Andrew, if you go and play in your bedroom until bedtime, we'll have pizza for dinner tomorrow night. Do you mind? No, whatever you like. Just for a bit of peace and quiet. All right, Andrew? Hawaiian? All right. Sorry about that. Don't be silly. He's a ten-year-old boy. What do you expect? That's just it. I don't know. Hi, Ellie, dear. You're up late. Oh, I could say the same thing. Nice evening, was it? Mm, lovely, thank you. No, no. Well, aren't you going to tell me who you were out with? You mean, was it a man? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, it was. Tom Nielsen. I know. You've been spying. Mum, you're both married. You're just two friends. Oh, yeah? And how did you suddenly become so friendly? Well, if you must know, it was through you. Me? Mm. I was waiting for you at the clinic, and uh, I got talking to Tom. He's a very agreeable man, don't you think? Anyway, uh, he asked me out for a coffee, and we got up chatting and... Chatting? We're chatting up. Alison, you do have a very suspicious mind. He was telling me about his job and how he got suspended, and I thought it was shocking, and I said so. Anyway, he invited me out for dinner. And that's all? And that's all. Well, nearly all. Tom flirted shamelessly all evening. <sighs> but you didn't encourage him, didn't I? Gosh, at the time. Oh, Mum, what would Dad say if he found out? I couldn't give a tinker's cuss. If it doesn't lay eggs or give milk, your father shows no interest whatsoever. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Ali, I know what I'm doing. What are you doing, Mum? I'm just having a little bit of fun, that's all. Good night. Mum. Mum! Not listening! You can't... Welcome home, darling. Mm. You know what? This is what I'm looking forward to when we get married. Being able to come home 
unwind and really stretch out. Do you want a refill? I can't understand people like Chris. I mean, rush around at the clinic all day. Then he wants to go out and rush around some more. Still, uh, he doesn't have you to come home to, does he? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I forgot. You've had a long flight. Come on. Let's have an early night. Oh, I've got a better idea. What? Let's go out. Out? Where? Anywhere. Let's go to a club. Oh, hang on. I've, I've got work in the morning. Oh, come on, babe. It's not even 11 yet. <laughs> Let's go to Randy's. Told it's the hottest spot in town. Who told you that? Oh, never you mind. <laughs> Look, we're not even dressed. We're fine. Look, just give me a couple of minutes to slap on a bit of makeup. What about all the mess? Leave it. I'll tidy up in the morning. One minute. I promise. So I don't know. Should I take it or not? Take what? Miriam's offer. The trip. Have you been listening? Oh, yeah, it's like a really tough choice, Steve. I mean, free world travel, great pay, only one patient to look after. I can see why you wouldn't be too keen. Well, the thing is, there's a bit more to it. She expects me to, well, be more than a nurse. <laughs> I told you so. Toy boy to the rich and famous. Good career move. It's not funny, Chris. Oh, it is from where I'm sitting. Be gentle with me, Miriam. It's not going to be like that, will it? Well, you never know your luck. Come on, Steve, it could be worse. I mean, you know, she's not that bad looking for someone her age. You reckon? Anyway, she's got a heart condition. And you're not going to have to sing for your supper any more than ooh, a couple of times but a night. Don't, please. What's happened to you all of a sudden? Acquired a few scruples. Well, the thing is, I've only got a few days to make my decision. Miriam's off on another overseas trip. Where to? Some Greek island. <laughs> talk to you. Yeah, what's the problem? It's Mum. I just don't know what to do. I've never seen her like this before. Ellie, you're making too much of this. I'm not. You saw them last night. <sighs> Dad must be wondering if she's ever coming home. How long does she plan to stay? That's just it. She hasn't said anything about going home. I mean, what if Dad suddenly arrives and finds out that she's... Oh, there you are, Alison. It's a patient wanting you. Uh, says a friend of yours. Dr. Robert is looking at him now. Who is it? I don't know. Just said he was a very close friend. Oh, you're keeping something from me. No, of course not. Yeah, she's a good friend, Alison. Great to talk to. She really knows how to listen. Have you known her long? Ages. That's why I came here. <laughs> I mean, I came here because I pranked my arm. But to this particular clinic. All right, then. Jackie. Jackie, you can dress it now. Oh, sorry. How did you get it? The arm? Oh, I just, I was doing a bit of stuff around the house. Uh, you know, a bit of chipping. I uh, met Alison at this club, and the first thing I said to her was, Hello there, how you doing? I was wondering where you got to. I was just telling her where we met. You've got a nice place here. What are you doing here? Oh, I slipped off a step ladder. See, I chewed my arm up a bit. Are you following me? Following you? What do you mean? Oh, right. Your friend's fixed up now. Friend? You've told these people we're friends? Alison, is something wrong? Of course we are friends. I want him out of here now. Alison? Look, I don't want to see you ever again. Ever. Woman, eh? Never forgotten a birthday or something. Alison, hi. Hi. Hey, what gives with this Philip guy? What do you mean? I'm well, just the way he was going on. You'd think you were Romeo and Juliet and then you came in. Is that what he said? Hey, what is it? I mean, you know him, don't you? Yeah, I know him. We went out once, that's all. Oh. And what happened when you went out once? <sighs> Look, Jack, I'd rather not talk about it, OK? You sure? Positive. Well, Jackie, Hone is looking for you. Examination rooms. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm on my way. See you. Have you seen your mum today? Who knows? What's the point anyway? She doesn't take anything I say. 
I should talk to Tom about it, really, you know? <laughs> Tom? I don't think he'd be too keen on you butting in on his affairs. Well, I mean... I don't know how I'd talk to him about something like this. Well, maybe you better not. But you might. Me? Oh, please, Chris. I just don't know what else I can do. Oh, Ellie, just stop worrying about it. Will you do it, please? Do I have any choice? Oh, you're an angel. I told you, right? Feel well. Andrew, don't do this to me. What's the trouble? It's Andrew. He claims to have a stomach bug. I have. God, why today? Lift up your shirt. I'm not feeling too hot. Where does it hurt? Here? All over. I can't find any swelling. Oh, I don't know what to do. What's it like at your new school, mate? I don't know. I mean, am I supposed to not go into the clinic? I can't. Bit new, isn't it? What are the other kids like? They're dumb. I mean, at my other school, that was... Had plenty of friends there, right? Yeah. I can't get hold of Mrs. Rogers. Where am I so going to find a childminder in five minutes? Did you know any of your friends when you started at your last school? No. That's right. And you're not going to meet anyone moping around here, are you? They don't like me. They don't know you. So the sooner you start joining in, the sooner they'll get to know you, right? I guess so. You know so, you ratbag. Come on, let's go. You're amazing. Where did you learn that? You don't learn it, you do it. I, uh, I know you probably think this is none of my business. You got that in one. All I know is Alison's worried sick. Well, tell her to stop worrying. That's what I said. I said, just because Tom and Irene have been out to dinner a couple of times doesn't mean her parents' marriage is going to break up, right? Look, Alison thinks her mother may be seeing more in this than is actually there. I told her I'd talk to you about it. Set her mind at ease. Yeah, she's a lovely lady, Irene. <laughs> of course she is. Which is why I know you wouldn't do anything to compromise her marriage. How would you know what I would or wouldn't do? Oh, come on, Tom. We both know what this is about. You're just trying to wind Marge up because of that business with the Ambulance Association. That's it, isn't it? Marge has nothing to do with Irene's and my regard for each other. You make it sound like an affair or something. Oh, you haven't. Look, Chris, as far as I'm concerned, Marge blew her chances when she dobbed me in. And you can tell her that right now I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, well, what about Alison? Yes, well, I'm sorry, but it's our life. Irene's and mine. There comes a time when you've got to look after yourself. So you're going to keep seeing Irene? If she wants to, and I want to. You look a bit ragged on it, Jackie. Everything all right? Oh, it is now. Oh, I've been so stressed out lately. And I've been run off my feet all morning. Would you believe this is the first break I've had all day? Nurse Manu, to the examination rooms. Oh, Nurse Manu, to the examination rooms. Hey, mate, I'm starving. How do you feel about going across the road grabbing a... Chris, you remember my fiancé, Claire? Yeah, right. We, um... We met a couple of times, didn't we? More than a couple, wasn't it? Uh, maybe. Aren't you going to get me a cup of coffee? I'll get it. Oh, well, Chris might like to. He knows how I take it. Uh, sorry, I've got to go. Something up? Uh, no, it's just, um... I've got to look for Mr Mitchell's results, that's all. Uh, I'll see you later, mate. Bye, Chris. What? Take care now. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll see you both. Them. Beats me. How often do you and your husband treat yourselves to a romantic dinner for two? Once a year on special occasions, whenever you get the urge? Hardly ever. Hmm. How long have your parents been together now, Alison? What do you mean? Oh, well, you'd say they were happy, wouldn't you? I mean, after all this time. Well, why shouldn't they be? No reason. She's staying long, your mother? I don't know. Oh, I mean, probably not for much longer. And what's your father doing while she's up here? Back home? Yeah. Oh, he went back after he dropped Mum off. Nothing wrong, is there? I mean, between them. Marge, I've spoken to Mum over and over. I'm trying to get her to see the sense. Your mother? Yeah. Hey, but she'll be going back to Tikawiti very soon. 
There's nothing for you to worry about, okay? <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing for me to worry about. You mean you didn't know? What are you talking about? <laughs> nothing, man. Oh, I just got things a bit confused, that's all. Alison, you're hiding something, aren't you? What is it? It's Mum. She's seeing someone. Tom. When you said a few things... I know, I just can't live without my reference library. Oh, of course not. Oh, just let me get my breath back. Oh, better get ready. Hey, guess what? We've got this cool project to do and you've got to help me. Me? Here, what are you Oh, I'm sorry, Andrew, I've got to go to work. But before you go to work... I've got to go to work now. We're just waiting for the babysitter. Babysitter? Who's baby? You know what I mean, Mrs Rogers. Look, I, I promise I'll help you next time. What next time? Andrew. Look, if you're good, I'll give you an extra couple of dollars pocket money. How about five? Ready to go? Yes, in a minute. All right, five dollars. But I want you on your best behaviour. Now go to your room and get changed, please. You're going to run out of bargaining power if you keep going this way. I know, I know. You're his mother. Let him know that. You're his mother and therefore you deserve his respect. Very easy, but how do I go about doing that? Yahoo! There's Mrs Rogers. Are you ready? Yeah. Hiya, babe. What are you doing here? I've got some good news. At least I think it's good news. So, let's hear it. There's a casual position for an anaesthetist coming up at the clinic, and I thought, wow, that's going to be perfect for you, while you're waiting for something better. Good. Good. When do I start? Hmm? I'll try and talk to McKenna today. Would you be uh, worried about us working together and living together? No, not at all. I will be on different ships most of the time anyway, so I can't see us getting sick of the sight of each other. As if I would. Hey, it's not a hint, is it? No way. Look, I better get back to it. I'll see you tonight. Mum, you're behaving like a 16-year-old school kid. It's not about time you, you settle down. Alison, I've been settled down for 20 years. This is different, Mum. I'm not a geriatric, and I'm not ready for the scrap heap yet, my girl. I'm going to phone Dad if it keeps going on like this, Mum. I mean it. It's getting out of hand. Marge knows. Remember Marge, Tom's wife? Separated wife? Well, quite frankly, I don't care if she knows or not. It's no secret. Oh. There's nothing going on between Tom and me. Yet. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, come on in. Mum. Oh, lovely. Alison, look what Tom's bought me. Aren't they magnificent? Seven femoral artery. Mr. Climo's a butcher. Well, let's get into bed as quick as we can. Get Marge to call the anaesthetist. Right. Thanks, Dr. Sunderland. Bye. The anaesthetist will be here in five minutes. Beauty. Page Jackie to reception, will you? I'll be back in a minute. Jackie Marnie to reception, Jackie, please. Jackie anyway? Marnie no, to reception. Chris, you know Alison's mother. What's she like? Well, I've only met her a couple of times. Oh, that should be enough, a woman like that. She's actually very nice. You've got nothing to worry about, I'm sure. See you later. You know, too. Oh, I suppose the whole hospital knows. Oh, always the same, isn't it? The wife's the last to know. Where on earth have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, sorry. I, I had to go upstairs for a minute. What's the matter with you, Jackie? You've been on edge all day. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I, it's the HIV test. I get the results tomorrow. I feel like I'm on hot coals. <laughs> oh, my God, there's a fire! Calm down, Marge. I'll check with the fire brigade. It's probably just a false alarm. Well, if it is, you can tell me about it outside. Come on. Prepare the ward for evacuation, Jackie, in case there really is a fire. Right. Well, I should check on that alarm. I mean, I am fire officer. Well, Carrie will have it in hand. We need to get a desperate unit. We need to get blood into them. And we have got a fire. We're evacuating the building. Oh, God, that's all we need. Yeah, I've got an ambulance standing by. I'll let Central know. OK. I'll I'm sorry, Mr. Plummer. We're going to have to whisk you out of here and into Central. Oh, it suits me, though. I don't fancy going out and playing. <laughs> don't worry, mate. You're with the A-team. Back the other way. I know a shortcut. Hang on, Mr. Palmer. 
We have these all the time. I yeah, just lift it here and I'll pop this off. Okay. Probably just a few wires crossed. Jackie, it's the real thing. Oh, look, it's all right. We'll just take you outside for a few minutes. There we go. Now let's get you organised, Edna. Here we are, Mrs. Snow. Here's your book, you just take it slowly. Oh, we need some more portable oxygen. This one's low. Typical. Can you take care of that? Yeah. OK. But there's a shortcut through the ambulance, mate. Are you sure? Trust me. Duration. We made it, Edna. The mail got through. Okay, just hang on two ticks. It's okay, love. I'm just going to pick up some more oxygen from the storeroom. We've just about run out, okay? You can't get back in there. The fire doors are shut. Oh, that's just great. Edna, oh, some shortcut. Yeah, well, we can only hope someone else uses this corridor. And in the meantime? Because if we don't get him out of here soon, he's going to bleed to death. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance or a dream, Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When we're writing on the wall Says I'll be shining and the street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see This program was made with the help of your broadcasting crew, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.